I smell a rat up my nose. Sorry, I couldn't help myself with this one. Yesterday I was sent an email by one of the higher ups at work explaining the benefits and limitations of taking rapid antigen tests, or RAT, RAT. That's got to be a joke, right? She also sent this diagram telling us how to use a rapid antigen test. Um, no thank you. Who would voluntarily stick a swab halfway up into their head? Certainly not me. And before you start telling me it's for the greater good, what good? The government are telling us that for the vast majority of people who test positive, they will only have minor symptoms, if any symptoms at all. And the best course of action is to stay at home and take some paracetamol. If you have a fever, that is. Good luck. Panic buying Panadol after top doctors urged Australians to stock up. Australians are clearing supermarket shelves of popular painkillers. Not to mention that the chief medical officer is telling people that if they have respiratory problems, they probably have the virus. What's happening at the moment, a lot of people are using rapid antigen tests early in their illness when there's not as much virus in the nose and throat. And so that can be negative initially, but they become, they become positive as you go through the illness. So it is a matter of persisting. So he's suggesting that persistence is the key to testing positive. Keep sticking a swab up your nose until finally you test positive for the virus, and then you'll be told to stay home and take some Panadol. People are being told not to go to hospital unless they have severe symptoms like difficulty breathing and chest pains. My question, what was the point of the test? What's the point of sticking a swab halfway into your head multiple times just so that you can be told to stay at home? I mean, if I'm sick, I would stay at home anyway, regardless of the type of virus. New South Wales are even threatening people with a $1,000 fine if they test positive with a rat test but fail to report the result to the authorities. Can anyone please tell me how this is enforceable? If I test positive by repeatedly sticking a swab up my nose, how will I ever know unless I tell them? Or my housemate dobs me in? Or more likely, people will just avoid taking the test altogether in order to avoid the fine. None of it matters anyway. Rats are in short supply all across Australia. Good luck finding one anywhere. Whenever people see them for sale, they snap them all up. They've become like illicit substances on Facebook. Does anyone know where I can get a rapid test ASAP, please? Hey everyone, I don't want to look like someone who nags for a rat, but my mother is a soul trader. She trades in souls. She is currently suffering from an ear infection, but can't go back to work until she has a rat. I know it's super early as a lot of people probably won't be awake, but does anyone know anywhere selling those rat tests or is anyone willing to sell an extra one? I really need one. Bad. Unfortunately, I'm showing some symptoms. Hey man, I really need the good stuff. Anybody got a spare rat? Anyway, as I said before, I will never voluntarily take one of these tests. How about yourself? Do you smell a rat? <laughs>